Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are getting into our 2023 product favorites, okay? This is something I've been doing for the past couple of years and I enjoy doing them because it changes from year to year, which is so crazy, but it actually makes sense because new products come out all the time okay however this year i'm like we're gonna get it down to seven okay because in reality you all i actually don't use a lot of products i do not like being a product junkie however i will try out new products here and there but i keep my hair routines quick and simple and also minimalistic okay let's hop right into it so we are going to go ahead and get started out with the cleansers okay and the cleanser i am going with is actually this design essentials almond and avocado sulfate free shampoo okay this is a part of their curly hairline and i actually like this shampoo my husband likes this shampoo it really really gets the hair clean but also it is a moisturizing shampoo so your hair doesn't feel brittle after actually using it and of course we have to talk about the price okay prices like normal sally's beauty prices okay however a little goes a long way with the design essentials product and the reason why i also like these products is because they kind of like are on that fine line between like professional products which lets you know that nine times out of ten they're going to be a good product because you actually get them professionally this shampoo is going for the win because it is something that you can get yourself and not have to go through your local stylist anything like that can get it over the counter following up with shampoo and cleansing the hair one stimulating super moisturizing conditioner that kind of took over, I think, my Miel Organics Rosemary Mint. I will still use that Miel Organics, okay? But one thing I like about this Design Essentials Rosemary and Mint Conditioner is that as soon as you put it onto your hair, you can feel the mint really, really stimulating the scalp and stimulating the curls. And I live for a good mint product, okay? I actually learned that like peppermint, rosemary, all of those like high mint flavored or mint smelling products, I shall say, they actually really, really help stimulate like hair growth because it really stimulates the blood cells in the scalp. So whenever I get that tingling feel, I'm like, okay, you doing your job, okay? You about this business that we are doing with our hair. And I really feel like I could sit by this um, moisturizing conditioner. On the back, it says that you can let it sit on for five minutes. Sometimes I do five minutes and I make sure I detangle my hair. Other times, honey, I'm gonna pull out that hooded dryer. I'm gonna sit up under the dryer, let it penetrate my strands, and then I'll rinse it out. Really, really like this product though. And it has a good enough slip to actually detangle while you have the conditioner on your hair. Now, okay, these next two products have to be like my two favorite of the year, okay? And I'm trying to decide which one to go for because they're both our mousses, okay? I think I'm gonna start off with the Dew Mousse Diff, okay? The reason I am starting off with this product is because, honey, this product can do anything under the sun for some reason, okay? It can lay down baby hairs, you can use it for perm rod sets, you can use it for twist outs, braid outs, flat twist outs, any type of style. I have been using this honestly as like my edge control, okay? One thing that you all will not see in this video today is a gel or an edge control, okay? Because this product has kind of like snuck its way up in there and I feel like if I only had this product, I can do it, okay? I could make a style work with just this product. Has a really, really good hold, non-flaking and you wouldn't even know that some of my twist outs, wash and goes over it out, sometimes only use this one product. Now, following up with the next one, okay? This product surprised me the most. And honestly, if I'm being 100% with you all, I actually like this product with my, okay, let me back up. I like my wash and go results with this product better than the Dew Mousse, but I still like the Dew Mousse too. This one's just a little bit better, okay? And it is by Meech. It is the Gel to Foam Styling Mousse. It is free as free definition, okay? One of my favorite products. Her entire line is amazing, by the way. This product definitely stands out. 
Will I, could I go a full year only using her products? Absolutely. They're actually really, really good products, have good ingredients in them. This mousse, it just shocked, shocked me, okay? It just really, really surprised me and I really, really love the wash and go that I got for this and I'm gonna make sure I link it in the cards for you all. Really, really love it. Okay, disclaimer. I have not re up on this product, okay? Because I have this thing where I'm like, I gotta use all of the products that I got before I buy something new. I'm ready to buy more products, okay? Because this is actually one of my favorites that I tried this year. Now, if the mousse ain't doing what it needs to do and I feel like my hair may need some extra moisture as the weeks go on, I am going to go for the dew cream, okay? Cash rules everything around me, okay? That's what, what I think, okay? This product is my moisturizer of the year. I used it in quite a few styles this year just to moisturize my hair. However, whenever I use this cream, you best believe I'm gonna put this mousse on top. Even if it's the B-girl mousse, this mousse or somebody's mousse, I like to put the mousse right on top because I feel like the mousse really, really seals the hair into place and it gets rid of any frizzes that may exist. But this product, it glides onto the hair. As you're putting the product on your hair, you can actually feel the product seeping into the hair strands and your hair actually feels moisturized to the touch. Now that is what I look for when it comes to a good cream or a good moisturizing product for my natural hair. And if you need something that's close to an edge control or a gel, you all have definitely seen me use this product quite a bit in some of my low manipulation protective styles this year. And it is this extra hole gem, okay? And what's crazy is this is the same container I think I've been using all year, okay? Let's just hope that this product has not expired, okay? If you didn't know that your products could expire, they can, okay? And this one, it may have expired already, okay? but it's still been working good, okay? So do better than me, all right? Just maybe get the smaller container next time. Don't, you don't have to get the value size. If you don't do a lot of protective styles or a little bit of low manipulation styles, this one is amazing. I think everybody should use it. Really, really love it. It lays down. I use it to basically kind of like part my hair, but also to make sure that my roots are very, very smooth. And then typically I add a mousse right on top to lay my mini twists down, mini braids, flat twists, all of that good stuff. If it's a flat twist updo or style. But I really, really like this for getting that sleek look when it comes to parting and the roots of my hair. Okay. I might have cheated with this last one, but let me just get one off the floor because it failed, okay? So, these products came in a kit this year, okay? I No, these products were not gifted to me. I actually bought these myself probably like almost a year ago. These products, expiration dates, also have a 12-month stamp on the back, okay? <laughs> Definitely look at what they say in terms of the months on some of your products and how long they should be lasting. But back to my story. These products came into a kit. I was told to try them in a kit because it would be a cheaper price, which that person did not lie. And I like these products for hair straightening, blow drying, all of that good stuff. In the kit, you get a shampoo, you get a conditioner, but then you actually get like two products that I would basically consider to be a pre-poo. So these are the products from the Olaplex kit. I actually really, really like these products when I am straightening my hair. I can actually feel my hair getting stronger. I can feel the bonds getting repaired and get, and I can actually feel my hair just feeling way, way stronger, okay? I like to use these products again before I blow dry my hair or straighten my hair because I know I am manipulating my curls. And what happens is, is this is kind of like the pre-poo, so you actually do this on dry hair. It helps with detangling before you go into the next step, which is like number three. And this is also another like bond builder. Number three defines your curls, okay? Even if you're not straighten, straightening your hair and you want to basically repair and strengthen your hair, 
use this, okay? Number three is gonna have your curls super, super defined. And this is defining your curls before you even get to shampooing and conditioner, conditioning. This product is a shock factor. Surprise me. Every time I wash my hair, it surprises me. And then you just go in with the shampoo and you go in with the conditioner. One thing about this shampoo, a little bit goes a long way. I have more shampoo left than the other products, which kind of makes sense, okay? Because this gets really, really suzzy and it spreads all over really, really well. Conditioner is okay, okay? It ain't a deep conditioner, okay? It's not a deep conditioner if we want to talk correctly today. Um, deep conditioner, it's okay. It's not the most amazing thing in my opinion. However, I use it because I know it is still repairing and strengthening and nourishing my hair, okay? Sometimes things may not feel good, but good things could still be working, okay? Sometimes I will use an additional conditioner and just make sure I rinse it out really, really well so that my hair doesn't feel weighed down. But yes, I like the kit. I may buy bigger products or I may just get the kit again because again, remember, I had these products for over a year and I still have things left and everything is set for number zero, okay? And number zero is just like the spray for pre-pooing and detangling, all of that good stuff. So I think the kit to do for me, okay? But if you try out the products and you get the kit and then you feel like you like them, don't, don't be afraid to upgrade, okay? That is up to you, all right? So those are my favorite products of 2023. All of these products have really, really good ingredients and they pass my test for heavy oils and butters. As you all may know, last year, I have kind of been on this journey of trying to get my hair to not be so dependent on heavy oils and butters. Do I actually use them sometimes? Yes, I do, okay? I am not a person I'm like, I am absolutely never ever using that product again. Even the big old eco, eco styler gel, okay? Whenever we learn, whenever we learn how many harmful ingredients were in that product, I thought I could never let that product go. In the past 12 months, I probably used, and I know this old, okay? Cause I got this big old dry eco styler gel down here. And I know I had it for too long and I know I need to throw it away. I probably touched that jar maybe like twice. Definitely can count on one hand. And those were probably like hair emergency days where I'm like, just slap it all up there because I'm gonna wash my hair tonight, okay? So it's not just sitting up there. But finding products with good ingredients, it definitely takes time because also our hair change over time. So what may work this year may not work for my hair next year and I may have to find something different and something new. So keep them my eyes open for any new products. Again, I do like to try new products, but sometimes I have my staples and my staples are typically what my favorites are at that current point, current point in time, okay? As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya.